Hey, what's going on guys? Globe here. Welcome back to another achievement guide for 12 minutes. Today we're going to be getting Seasons, which requires you to observe all variations of the living room painting. So, quick spoiler alert before we get started. There are a couple spoilers in the video. A lot of spoilers, actually. So if you don't want anything spoiled, then click away now. Otherwise, stick around and let's, uh, let's get this achievement. One thing to note about this achievement is it does count your progress for each of the versions throughout every playthrough. So... For example, if you find three of the four paintings in the first playthrough and then you beat the game, you can go back and all you would need to find is that fourth painting, view it, and the achievement will unlock. So you don't actually have to find all four each time you play the game. However, just make sure you don't go into the options menu of the game and click on advanced options and then where it says uh, delete progress, don't click that otherwise you'll have to go back and find all four versions again. So for the first painting, all you have to do is as soon as you get into the apartment and greet your wife, just go over and view it. You're going to see this painting here, and it's going to have some green leaves on both of the trees. For the next painting, you're going to have to set up the uh, table with the desserts. So go in the fridge, grab the two desserts, fill up at least one of the two mugs with water, set it on the table. If you want to make things go a little bit quicker, you could fill up your wife's mug as well and put it on the table. Uh, you could turn the radio on, shut the lights off, and then just wait for her to come and sit down. She's going to eat the dessert with you, give you the present. Uh, once you open it and find out that there are baby clothes inside, just let the scene play out, and then start a new loop. Once the new loop starts, go ahead and go on over and view the painting again. It's going to have very subtle changes. The tree on the left is going to be slightly yellow now. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to notice, especially with the lights off, but that is the second version of the painting. Now for the third painting, you have to basically tell the cop that your wife is innocent and prove her innocence. Um, there's a couple steps involved with that, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put your wife to sleep using the sleeping pills, hit the light switch in the room twice, and wait for the cop in the closet. Once he arrives, wait for him to get electrocuted, go in there and cuff him, take all of his stuff, open up his cell phone, read his text messages, and then click on Bumblebee's number to call her. That will give you Bumblebee's number later on. Once he wakes up, you're going to want to shoot him in the leg, and then you're going to want to begin questioning him. You're just going to want to exhaust all of his dialogue until you hear him mention that the wife killed the father on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Once all of his dialogue is exhausted, go ahead and walk out the front door to start a new loop. Now go to the refrigerator, grab the Polaroid, view it, and then wait for your character to quit talking about it. New Year's Eve, eight years ago. Wait, wait, the cops said the old man was killed on New Year's. But that's hundreds of miles away. She couldn't have been in both places. Oh. This proves she's innocent. Now you're going to want to prove the loop to your wife just so you don't have to do it later. So to do that, just walk up to your wife, tell her you know what's in the vent. She's going to ask you to prove the loop. Go ahead and go into the drawer, grab the present, and that will prove the loop to her, and then start another new loop. Now you're going to want to do the exact same thing. You're going to want to put your wife to sleep with the sleeping pills, hit the light switch in the bedroom twice, and hide in the closet, wait for the cop. Once he gets electrocuted, go ahead and go and take all of his stuff again, cuff him, wait for him to wake up, shoot him in the leg, and then begin questioning him again. Once he mentions the date of the murder again, Christmas Eve, then you're going to want to show him the Polaroid proving your wife's innocence. You're also going to want to ask him what his connection to the father was and basically just exhaust all of his dialogue again. 
She's innocent. Oh, she so fly. I don't care, man. She. There's no proof it doesn't. Look at this picture. What about? Look at the. This. That's. But she was hundred. I don't know. No shit. It. So. I don't know. Everything. Once this new loop starts, go ahead and wait for your wife to greet you and then head into the closet. Make sure you shut the door sh so she can't hear the phone call. Grab your phone, call Bumblebee, and ask her about her cancer. And then begin another new loop. Hello? Hey. In the I closet? You know what? Listen, I know about you. And I'm so Who are Fuck. Once this new loop starts, go ahead and greet your wife, talk to her, and prove the loop again. Keep exhausting her dialogue options until she sits on the couch. If she keeps asking you to please talk to her, then just keep talking to her until you get her to sit on the couch. If she leaves, go ahead and do the same process. Prove the loop to her and just select different dialogue options until she finally sits on the couch. Once she sits on the couch, go ahead and go back into the closet, grab the cell phone and call Bumblebee. This time you're going to want to tell her that my wife is innocent and then wait for the cop. Once the cop gets there and starts the conversation with Bumblebee, wait until the doorbell rings, open it, and then just let the scene play out. You're going to hear something about the monster. the affair, but he never mentioned it. Once the new loop starts, go ahead and view the painting. You're going to see this painting here where it's going to have one tree with leaves and one tree without, and that is your third painting. Now for the fourth painting, it's basically the same thing as the third painting, but just a little bit more steps. On the next loop, prove the loop again to your wife. Ask her about her brother. She's going to mention the nanny and how she knows nothing about her. And then do the exact same thing. Prove the loop till she sits on the couch. Call Bumblebee. Tell her your wife is innocent. And then go and grab the present out of the room. Open it, grab the baby clothes, and wait for the cop. This time, when he's going through the scene with your wife, you're going to wait for him to mention the nanny, and she has a flowery name. Flowery. 
Once the cop gets there and he mentions that same line again about the nanny where she has a flowery name, go ahead and give the baby clothes to the cop. It's going to play a scene. Just let the scene play out. Is that the nanny? That he had the air? Yes. You're going to be uh, teleported basically to the scene with the father and then just select the option that I select here. Once that's done and the new loop starts, go ahead and go and view the painting again. This time it should be the winter scene where there are just trees with no leaves at all and the achievement will unlock. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is my last 12 minutes achievement guide. Hopefully the video was a little bit better edited. Um, if you guys, if anyone out there could please let me know how I did with that, I'd really appreciate it. I am trying to get better with making videos and uh, I'm looking for some criticism so I can do that. So thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the 12-minute achievements, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section of any of the videos, and I'll do my best to make sure that you get them. So thanks again. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace. I didn't hear you come in. Best night ever. Guess who made this?